Sarah and Mo, congratulations on Rosie. What a beautiful, emotional picture. Um, what was it like for each of you reading that script for the first time? It's quite harrowing, quite hard hitting. Quite topical, yeah. quite relevant, quite uh, close to the bone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look very far to see how it uh, affects so many of us as Irish people. But Roddy has literally come out of the woodwork after 18 years of writing a film because this is a direct response to what's going on right now mm -hmm. in Ireland. So as relevant as it is, it's a uh, it's a beautiful story about family um, who are trying to do their best. So I was quite struck and taken aback by how much happens in a small space of time and what they actually come up against. Mm -hmm. Were you guys surprised that this came from Roddy Doyle? You know, this is the man behind like such comedies as you know the commitments, the snapper, and everything. Well, no, the family was was pretty. It mm -hmm. was pretty hard hitting mm -hmm. back in its day. You know, so uh, I mean, he has the ability to just to capture. Um, the essence of I Irish people, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why it's so important that it's his voice behind this, because people do sit up and, and listen. We were shooting one day, do you remember this? And there was two little kids came past on bikes. They're like, are you shooting a movie? And you're like, oh, we are actually. And he was like, is it Roddy Doyle? <laughs> I was like, you're seven. How do you know who Roddy Doyle that's is? I, I brought my son to see a cast and crew, you mm -hmm. know, and it's about family, and my family was sitting beside me. You know, he's my family. So afterwards, we're watching the credits roll. And, you know, he wasn't saying anything to me for the whole movie. Mm -hmm. And then just when written by Roddy Doyle comes up, goes, Roddy Doyle wrote this? <laughs> so it's obviously circulating around in, in school or at home. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, 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 you know, Roddy Doyle is known by all of us Irish people, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, um, mm. Yeah, this came out of a direct response of him sitting at home listening to the radio and uh, hearing a story uh, told from a woman who was trying to find temporary accommodation night by night. Um, her husband was working, so he couldn't help her, and he thought, isn't that just nuts that, you know, he's working, he has a job, and yet they still have no roof over their head. I think we take the word home for granted quite a bit. Um, I certainly did until I worked on this story, um, you know, uh, and I think, yeah, I think hopefully through Roddy's words, we will open a conversation and a bigger discussion. Um, you guys mentioned family quite a few times there and you guys are really incredible as playing the parents of these kids and the kid actors in this are just amazing and you do like hear that like children are meant to be kind of more difficult to work with on set but how did you guys find it and how did you create this ambiance where you know one minute you're kind of laughing <coughs> out loud the next it's very somber you know they're just incredible children mm -hmm. um, and young adults uh, they're really thoughtful and they were just in the moment at all times, up for playing and just, that's all they were doing is reacting basically, which is essentially what acting is. Uh, mm -hmm. And I th they're just really smart kids. Um, and they just brought something different to every scene. No, like, no take was, was ever the same, you know. Uh, yeah, they're, they're great. So it was exciting for them every day as well, you know, <laughs> their first film. And uh, we really did actually feel like a family because we're in such small quarters in the car or in the hotel. And, and we got to know their families and we got to know, you know, their mum and dads very well. And we, uh, we have played a lot of games for about a week in rehearsals. And uh, they all are, they're all such great characters. Mm -hmm. You know, Molly is a little, <laughs> she, you know, she loves being on <laughs> show, yeah. you know. She's yeah. brilliant, but her instincts are just, every single oh, take is different. Amazing, yeah. Because you know? they're going, what is she? It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. yeah, they're very excited about Try tonight. making. Oh, they're very excited, <laughs> the aren't they? Premiere. Yeah, they've been Try, talking about this for months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try making ham, ham and cheese sandwiches with Molly. <laughs> she makes a meal out of it. Like, we're meant to be doing this together. No, I'm making this. So. Um, but er, yeah, every take they would do would be different. And Paddy had such a way because Paddy's a family man, mm -hmm. and Paddy has this kind of gentleness about him with the kids and that really helps so they really trusted Paddy mm -hmm. as did we absolutely you have to and me and Sarah go back a long way I know Sarah for for years and it was just you know any any opportunity of getting to to work with Sarah mm -hmm. it's a it's an honor you know so I don't like working with Mo. She, it's, <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> it's not reciprocated um, yeah it's very easy for us this has been a really busy year for you guys, as well as Rosie, there was Black 47 out. I know you each have kind of three to four kind of between movie and TV shows coming out this year. Um, you know, you had uh, Dublin Old School, you had Vikings. What has it been like kind of working as Sarah's actors in, in Ireland? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>
We were married. <laughs> yeah, we did. We had a lovely wedding. Yeah, short lived. Uh, what was the end of the question? Sorry? Oh, so how do you guys find you know working as actors in Ireland? Because you do hear that like it has its challenges, and you guys would be more success stories, I think. But does it still come with its difficulties? I mean, we all have ups and downs, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's the nature of the job, I suppose. You go through months of being employed and mm -hmm. months of unemployment, mm -hmm. and. Uh, just because you have four movies coming out in a year doesn't mean you're actually working. No, <laughs> um, you know, one of those movies might be three weeks or four weeks to shoot. Then you days. might have <laughs> two days. <laughs> yeah. You know, we've both known what it's like to be out of work. Yeah. Uh, we both went to the same college. We, mm -hmm. yeah, we've been doing well by higher standards, but mm -hmm. I mean, we know what it's like. It's it's not always work. Yeah. Um, but we're we've been fortunate to work we've with been very lucky. good mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Aside from Rosie, it has been amazing seeing the success of Black 47, you know, across the one million euro mark at the Irish box office, which is incredible for a domestic movie. What's it been like for you guys seeing it, you know, go on to be so successful? Have you been taken aback by it at all? It's great. I mean, whenever Irish people come out and support Irish film, it's a, it's a really good thing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's heartwarming and hopefully the same will happen for Rosie because mm. we are making fantastic films. So, <laughs> you know, I think... Yeah. Well, I find more it. Of that. Yeah, more of that. I find it kind of it's a coincidence because they're both about two totally separate crises, mm -hmm. which are some way linked and some way similar. And Irish people, all they had to read on the posters was famine, epic, and it's the first time it's been told in 170 years, and people flock to the theatres mm -hmm. because they really, really want to see uh, themselves authentically told, you know, on screen. Mm -hmm. So no, it's great. More. Um, I hope it's the first of many. It's been brilliant to see, and I hope that everyone goes and sees Rosie as well. My very last question for you guys is, what do you hope um, audiences will take away when they see it? I think to shift judgment, um, that we're very quick to judge people in these situations um, when really it could happen to anybody. These are, this is a good family. They work hard, mm -hmm. they don't drink, they don't smoke, um, and they're in a really awful situation through no fault of their own that's happening to thousands of family acro families across Ireland. I hope conversation starts and I hope um, pressure is put in the government to put, um, to put houses in place for, for people in this situation. To spread awareness. Yeah. And it's happening to so many of, of Irish people, of our brothers, sisters. People are angry, people are ashamed of what's happening. They're ashamed of what's, what's the lies that are being told. People just want, want it to end. Mm -hmm. So I hope that this yeah, starts a conversation or adds to more of a conversation yeah. and do something about it.